Ai, já o araíce Ei! Tu ficava Limo coroa Mungu O menibê Ai, já o araíce Tu ficava Limo coroa Mungu O menibê O menibê O menibê O menibê Limo coroa Oh, 
Anataka umu Anataka nizai matumi
Chukachini, 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 Chukachini. Oh, kwa Yesu kuna amani. Kwa Yesu kuna amani. Kwa Yesu kuna baraka. Kwa Yesu kuna baraka. Kwa Yesu kuna upendo. Kwa Yesu kuna upendo. Kwa Yesu kuna amani. Kwa Yesu kuna amani. Kwa Yesu kuna upendo. Kwa Yesu kuna upendo. Kwa Yesu kuna amani. Kwa Yesu kuna amani. Kwa Yesu kuna furaha. Kwa Yesu kuna furaha. Kwa Yesu kuna amani Kwa Yesu kuna amani Kwa Yesu kuna furaha Kwa Yesu kuna furaha Makofi 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 kwa Yesu Makofi makofi kwa Yesu makofi Makofi kwa Yesu makofi Makofi ya mwa Yesu we Makofi kwa Yesu makofi Ale cheza burudika kwa Yesu Cheza 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 burudika kwa Yesu Cheza kwa Yesu Ale cheza burudika Burudika kwa Yesu Cheza burudika Burudika kwa Yesu Yesu anatenda Yesu anatenda makubwa Yesu anayinua Yesu anabariki Yesu anatupenda Yesu anatuyinua Yesu anatupenda Yesu anabariki Makofi makofi kwa Yesu Makofi makofi kwa Yesu Yesu ana tupenda Yesu ana tubariki Yesu ana inua Yesu ana bariki Yeye baba wa yatima Halika nyaga shetani Halika nyaga ashetani Halika nyaga adui Halika nyaga mapepo Halika nyaga shetani Halika nyaga shetani Halishinda mahuti Halishinda mahuti Alishinda mauti Inua Yesu inua Inua Yesu inua Inua Yesu inua Inua Yesu inua Bariki Yesu bariki Bariki Yesu bariki Bariki Yesu bariki Bariki Yesu bariki Tukuza Yesu tukuza Tukuza Yesu tukuza Tukuza Yesu tukuza Tukuza Yesu tukuza Inua Yesu inua 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 Yesu inua 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 Yesu inua 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 Yesu inua Inua Makofi 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 kwa Yesu Yeah yeah Yes, 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 yes. Help me to tell your neighbor that you are here for blessing. Speak to the one who seems to be more serious than the other one. You are here for blessing. And you have come to your point of turn around. And we put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. And because we are here for divine assignment, I would request that we be upstanding, that we may prepare the atmosphere for the next session of this program. I request that we be upstanding kindly. Hallelujah. Time spent in God's presence is time not wasted. Hallelujah. They want to prepare the atmosphere. And we are graced to have the man of God, Apostle Lebon Kiana, who is going to get us to the next uh, session for some few minutes that we continue unlocking the atmosphere for the delivery of the word of God. I want to believe 
so far it is not the same again. Praise be to God. The prophet of God has ministered to us powerfully. And as Archbishop Kitonga said, that many are called, but only few are chosen. And I want to believe that you are among the chosen, not only the called. Praise be to God. And that is why we are here. My prayer it is that you are not going to miss that which God brought you here that you may receive. Praise be to God. Because God can't gather people for no good reason. He has a good reason as to why we are gathered here and as to why he has packaged his servant all the way from West Africa to East Africa that he may deliver to us the keys of revival in Kenya. Praise be to God. Because in this life, you need the keys. And a key can be a revelation, can be an encounter, can be a connection. You always need the keys. And I say, when you have keys, you don't knock. You just open. Praise be to God. And that's why Jesus said, I give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. So these keys are passed over from one point to another. And one of the means through which these keys can be handed over to us, it is by receiving a messenger of God. Praise be to God. So I want you to raise your hand one minute and bless the name of the Lord for you being here. That Lord, my being here is not going to be a waste and I will not let anything interfere with my expectations that my being here is not going to be like any other program. Yes, you have been attending programs from different places by different ministers, but make this to be the program that is going to count in your life. Make this to be the program. The sound here is not very clear. That is what I'm waiting for. You open your mouth and tell the Lord, I have been to many programs, but my prayer it is that this is the program that, Lord, I have been waiting for. Every day, God is doing something new. Every month, God is doing something new. Every week, every hour, God is never tired of doing what people are expectant of him to do. That my father, I came here with the expectations. The Bible says the expectations of a righteous man shall never be cut off. The expectations of a righteous man can never be cut off. This means that your expectations will be met according accordingly that if you came here trusting God for a testimony you came here trusting God for a miracle you came here trusting God for a promotion you came here asking God for restoration for healing for deliverance you came here asking God for the healing of your family your ministry you came here trusting God that which has been torturing your life for many years shall be be settled. You continue asking. One of the ways of receiving it is to ask. Asking is a way of knocking in the gates of the heavenlies. That Lord God Almighty, I receive grace that will accelerate that which I am expectant of in Jesus' mighty name. Refuse to be distracted. Refuse to be distracted by anything in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says at the hour of prayer, at the hour of prayer, the angel of God stood at the right side of the altar and he spoke to Zechariah that thy prayers concerning having a child has been heard. And he said, I am Gabriel, the angel who stands in the presence of God. It was at the hour of prayer. When you read Acts chapter 10, when the angel came to Cornelius, he said, your prayers, your 
prayers. So one of the ways you can engage heavens for angelic encounters and visitation, it is by being a prayerful person. So you are going to make a prayer. Let the angel of my testimony locate me. Let the angel of my testimony locate me. Let the angel of my next level locate me. The Bible says it is through prayers that angels were locating people. When he came to Cornelius, he said your prayers, your prayers and his sacrifices. When he came to Zechariah, the Bible says it was at the hour of prayer. It was at the hour of prayer. You open your mouth and say, Lord, the angel of my ministry, the angel of my destiny, the angel of my career, the angel of my healing, the angel of my restoration, the angel of my recovery, the angel of my elevation, the angel of my deliverance, the angel of my next levels and encounter. May he be activated that we equalize and activate the angelic spear for miracles and testimonies to be delivered without distractions. In the name of Jesus Christ. In that situation, put your hands together. We receive Apostle Lebo that he may come and take us to another higher level. Put your hands together till he comes and then he picks this microphone. That is not enough for a great Apostle like our Apostle Lebo. Please put your hands together and celebrate Jesus. Acha tuombe, tumekuja kupokea siri ama vifunguo ya revival ambayo tumeombea miaka nyingi katika taifa letu. Na ninayo imani ya kwamba hii ndiyo wakati ambapo mungu wa metengeneza. Ili tupokea siri, tupokea vifunguo, itakao tuwezesha kuingiza taifa hii katika wamusho. Wamusho itaanza na wewe na mimi. That's why nataka uombe kama gisa ujawai kuomba tena. Nataka ujiombe mwenye ya kwamba God, I want you to revive me. For me to be a carrier of the revival in this nation. I am the agent for revival in Kenya. Use me, revive me. Just stand on your feet if you are able to stand and open your mouth and speak to your God now. Makato shatele rodosia. Hikadabado sato lebraya. Manta lakudabado shatala barada. Likado shatele kadosha. Lebeke lebo shalabara. Manto lakudabado shalabada. Sheleke teleke telero. Hilabi adora sutale baradia. Father, we gather in this place to receive the key for revival for this nation. Mantalaba, Shalabia no Rosia is not in vain. You have gathered us in this place, but so that we can receive the keys. Shalabi Kadeshata, Rabia no Shalamande, Rese, Lamanto Labida la Cola Badosia, Lama Shatala Bida la Cora. We call upon your name this evening, Lamiado, Shatala Bia, Lekede. Let the atmosphere be changed. Let the atmosphere be transformed by your presence. Malarosa Tole Radia. He can't labadora sutalebada. Father, we need more of you in this place. Masha, Rabi Katel, Rosia, Shalamande, Lekida Rosa, Shalabi Kadosha, Rakata Labadora, Sialebaradia, Manto Labida La Rosia. Father, we need you. We are here to receive the secrets to become the carrier of revival in Africa. That's why we are here, King of Glory. We bow before you. We need your presence in this place. We need your glory, Mashalabara. The glory which carried the Israelites, Malaro, which laid them, Malanto Labiadora, Mantalabida la Kudada Shataya. Father, we pray for Shekaina glory, Shalabiadora Sita, which led the Israelites to the land of promise, Mashia, Rabiadora Suta Lebadia. This nation has a destination. And we are here, King of Glory, in your presence to receive keys from you. Let heaven be open. 
we pray for this area. We come against the queen, the king, the principality, which resists the revival in this nation. We come against you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, we pull you down in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree, revival is now. Revival is now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Shata katosh Ranta laba kadoshia. Kelebede rosia labradia. We pray, we pray for the atmosphere. We pray for your presence, King of Glory. We pray for your angels, Mashalaba, a sign for this nation of Kenya. Shalabi Adora, Satalaba, to be deployed. Kado Shatalaba, Lamantalabado, Lakuda Badashia, Reketelebene Rosia Lemado, Shalabi Kadosha. We pray for all instruments of revival of this nation, wherever they are. Let them be revived. Let them be revived. Let them be revived. Let them be revived in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of delay, we come against you. We come against you in the name of Jesus. No more delay for revival for this nation. No more delay in the name of Jesus. No more delay in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree no more delay for revival in this nation. Holy Spirit, the Spirit of living God, you are the Spirit of revival. We welcome in this place. We welcome your presence. We welcome your glory in this place. Lara Suta Yadosia. Ekada bado shatelere, manta la kado shataya, rabia kado shataya, liba kado shatelero, la mia do rasule bado shalaba, hinta da bado shatala bado sa, rabika de la kuda bado shataya. Father, the same way you led Moses, you gave him keys, you gave him revelation to make way in the Red Sea. We are here, King of Glory. One word which shall be for us a key for revival in our life, in our church, in our nation. La kadaba shadabada, la miado shalabia, rabi kato shatalabada, yande ketele rosia, shileba kado shalabada. Speak to us, King of Glory, through your servant who you have ordained for this purpose. We are ready in this place. We are ready as a nation. To receive keys from you. Use your servant, King of Glory. Reveal yourself to him. Reveal your secret to him. Reveal the agenda of the enemy against this nation to him. So that we may have the keys which we need for revival of this nation. For revival for Kenya. For revival for our churches. For revival for this nation. Father, we need you. We need you in this place. We need your presence. We need your glory. We need anointing which breaks the yoke. Father, we declare and decree our revival will not be abort by the enemy. Whatever your purpose to do in this season, it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Father, we speak over the gods of the sea, the spirit of the mountains, which abort whatever you want to do in this nation. We come against the principality which control the area of Kenya in the name of Jesus. We come against the principality which control the mountain of Kenya in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree, revival is now. Revival is now. Revival is now in the name of Jesus. Kadeboro Sataya. Revival is now. Revival for our nation is now. 
revival in all sector of this nation. In the name of Jesus, Mashada Katalaba, revival in all sectors. He Kalabado, Shatele Rosia. Father, we declare and decree the land of Kenya shall never be the same again. In the name of Jesus, as we receive the keys, this nation, this land shall never be the same again. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. I want all of us, if you are able to speak, to pray in tongues, just pray in tongues now for this nation, for our revival. Let's pray. Masha katalaba. He katalaba de sato kotosha. Hande kateshe le baradosa. Hande be ketele kotasha. Rabi ketele kotasha la biadorasa. Hande be ketelebo, shalebadia, rabi kadesh, sheketelebo, ramanta labado, shate, rabi adora, suterika, manta labado, shale kate, rabi ketelebo, shialabara, manta labakado, shatalaba, hila mede, kontade badora, sia, rabi ketelebo, sialaba, shalalalala, manta labado, sha, he can't telebede, rosia lebado, halabi katele ketelesia, ripai la kota dora, sia, la. Mia do shelebe kaya, rabia de kato labida sotaya, la mi kato shata labada. We come again to speak of destruction in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. We come again to speak of Antichrist in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus, we need more of you in this nation. We need more of your wisdom in this nation. We need to move your presence in this nation. We are the people who are called by your name. And we have come in this place to humble ourselves. Because we need you, King of glory. Wherever this nation was taken, we take it back to you in the name of Jesus. We take our land back to you in the name of Jesus. We take our land back to you in the name of Jesus. In any form, Lama Katoshata of incantation, which was made, which was done in this nation, we come against it in the name of Jesus. We take back our nation to Yahweh. We take back our, our nation to God. We take back our nation to Christ in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Let us plead the blood of Jesus. The blood which sanctify, the blood which bring life, the blood which bring healing, the blood which bring restoration. Let's invoke the blood of Jesus for this land of Kenya. As we are praying for revival, this land need the blood of Jesus so that, it can be, so that the land can be accepted, God, so that we can be accepted, so that our prayer so that whatever God wants to do with this nation can become a reality. Let's plead with the blood of Jesus. Father, we pray for the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus for this nation. Wherever we have gone astray, wherever we have, see, we have sinned against you, we come before you as a nation. Forgive us, King of glory. We plead the blood of Jesus. We took away our, our sin. The blood which speak better. The blood which bring healing. The blood which bring restoration. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus for this nation. We plead the blood of Jesus for our leader. Our spiritual leader, our political leader. We plead the blood of Jesus. Mashalaba. Ilama. Kadosh. Shadaba. The blood which cleanse. The blood which take away our sin. We plead the blood of Jesus for our healing. For the healing of this nation. For the restoration of our church, we plead the blood of Jesus. Father, we need you. We need you, King of glory. We need your blood, which reconcile us to you. We can reconcile this nation to you. We plead the blood of Jesus. Have mass upon this land. 
have mass upon Kenya. We plead before you, King of Glory, because we are the people who are called after your name. We bring this nation before you so that we may be accepted to you, King of Lord. So that our prayer may be accepted to you. So that our declaration may be accepted to you. We plead the blood of Jesus. The blood which cleans. The blood which reconciles us to you. The blood which have life in it. The blood of Jesus. For our leaders. The blood of Jesus. For our spiritual leaders. The blood of Jesus. For our political leaders. We plead the blood of Jesus. We are the nation which is supposed to carry the revival. And we are here, King of Lords, to receive the keys for revival. We don't want to miss this opportunity which you have ordained for us. That's why we plead the blood of Jesus. Wherever you have applied manipulation, wherever you have gone away from your truth, Father, we need the blood of Jesus. Accept us, King of Lords, as a nation. Accept us as the priests of the land. We are here before you, King of Lord. We are in your presence, King of Lord. We plead for this nation. We plead for our leader, King of Lord. Whatever is going on in the secret place, King of Lord, it can be unseen to us, but you see everything. And we represent the nation, King of Lord. As we stand in this podium, we invoke the blood of Jesus, King of Lord. Heal our nation. Heal our land. No more chaos in this nation. No more destruction in this nation. Father, we need you. This is your nation. This is your nation, King of Lord, which you love which you have chosen among nations to be the carrier of the revival in this end time. Father, we need you. We plead, King of glory, forgive us as a church. Forgive us as a community. Forgive us, Adonai, because we need you. We don't want to miss this chance we don't want to miss this opportunity. We don't want to miss your visitation in this season. That's why we plead the blood of Jesus. Forgive us, King of Lord. We bring the fathers of the land before you. Have mass, King of Lord. We need you as never before. We need you as a church. We need you as a nation. We need you as a politi our political leaders. We need you as, as priests of the land. Father, we are before you. Heal our nation. Heal our nation. Heal our nation. Heal our nation. We rededicate our nation to you so that you can use our nation so that you can use our people in this end time. Father, we need you. We need more of you in this nation. We need more of your presence. We need more of your wisdom. Holy Spirit, the Spirit of living God, we cannot do it without you. We refuse to guide ourselves, to lead ourselves, and we surrender to you. Holy Spirit guides our leaders. Holy Spirit guide our priests. We need you in this land. We need you in Kenya. 
in any way we have sinned against you. We represent the nation as we stand here. Forgive us as a nation. Wherever we have lied against you, forgive us as a church. We are the lights of the world. We are the salt of the world. Where we have not released the lights and released the darkness, King of Lord, where we have confused people, instead of take them out of confusion, we are your people. We stand in this pulpit. We repent before you, King of Lord. All the mess, we bring it before you, King of Lord. We put it in ourselves, King of Lord. Forgive us. Heal our nation. Heal our nation. We want to see your power in our churches. We want to see your presence in our ministries. We want to see your glory, King of glory. We are tired of having churches without your glory. We are tired of programs instead of being led by the spirits. We cannot experience revival when we try to lead ourselves. That's why we call upon you, Holy Spirit. We need you in our church. We need you in our life. We need you in our ministries. Holy Spirit, come back. Can you speak to the Holy Spirit? Because you need him. He is an intercessor. He is a counselor. He is the everything which God has given to you. And we cannot experience the true revival without him. I want you to speak to the Holy Spirit and tell him, revive me. I want you in my life. Guide me. Direct me. The Bible says, the steps of the righteous are led by he God, which means are led by the Spirit of God. Just speak to the Holy Spirit. Show him how you need him. Holy Spirit, we cannot do it without you. We cannot do it without you. You are the greatest teacher. You are the spirit who searches the mind of God and reveal it to us. We cannot be able to do the, will, the perfect will of God if we are not led by you. We need you in our life. We need you in our ministries. Just speak to the Holy Spirit. Speak to the Holy Spirit. Just tell him, revive me. I want to operate in the Spirit. I want to move in the Spirit. I want to preach in the Spirit. I want to do evangelism in the Spirit. I want to teach in the Spirit. I want to prophesy in the Spirit. Just speak to him. Because we are the carrier of revival. Unless you are revived, you cannot carry it. And Jesus. it's only by the help of the Holy Spirit oh, yes. you can be able to do it. Oh, yes. Speak to the Holy Spirit. Invite him in your life. Because you need him for you to achieve the agenda of God in your life. Jesus. You need him to do the will of God. Spirit of the living God. Father, we give you praise. Without the Spirit of God, there is nothing we can do. And many times we request when we are praying, we be on our feet. You see, God is not an idol. God is a living being. So every time you are talking to God, there is that uh, 
honor your God unto him. And that means we be upstanding. Let your spirit carry your body. Let your spirit carry your body. The greatest enemy of a spiritual prevailing, sometimes it is not the devil. Because the devil doesn't operate independently. He has to have attachment. And one of the areas he can tap, it is your body. Jesus said, the spirit is willing, but the body. So the body itself is something that you need to discipline when it comes to operate in the presence of God. Kindly be upstanding. Nasema kwa kiswahili, tungeomba tuombe tukisimama. Mungu si sanamu. Mungu si sanamu. Ningeomba kwamba tuombe tukiwa tunasimama. Uyo roo wa mungu tunasungumuzia almighty. Now, for such a powerful ministration, comes from Congo. He happens to be a co-host of this program. And we are grateful to you. Is doing a great work in this nation and other nations. Praise be to God. We are still in the moods of prayer and especially when it touches our nation, it touches our soul, it touches our body, it touches our hearts. When you are praying for your nation, pray with the passion. Don't pray as a hired machine. Praise be to God. This is where our future is, that of our children, that of our grandchildren. And we need to lay a platform that can speak 100 years to come. We need to lay a foundation that can preserve generations to come. And it takes passion. There is one prayer point I want us to take uh, before we get to the next sessions of ministration. From the book of 2 Kings, chapter number 7, verse number 1. Verse number 1. The Bible says, Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sought for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. I want us to pray for our economy. Somebody say economy. Somebody shout economy. Sema uchumi. Now, the answer to our economic crisis it is not government structures, expertise, and the plans that they have. The answer to what we are going through as a nation economically, it is divine intervention. Hallelujah. It is divine intervention. The answer to what our country is ailing from economically needs divine intervention. And in divine intervention, Everybody can pray, but God does not respond to everybody. Everybody can pray, but God doesn't respond to everybody. There are specific kinds of people that God has to respond unto when they pray. Praise be to God. And we are going to pray. And John Wesley says, it seems that God can never do anything to humanity until somebody prays. Praise be to God. That some of the things you are expecting God to do, God is expecting you to act on them so that you may trigger his move. So Elijah said, though we have been having a famine during the siege of Jerusalem because of Samaria, he said, tomorrow a time like this, there shall be economic solution. To an extent, he even fixed the prices of commodities in the land. You see, we as a church, we have our own systems. And our systems are superior to that of politics, to that of governments, to that of economics. So Elijah said, whether there is rain or not, there will be food. Praise be to God. 
whether there is rain or not, there is going to be food. Because God has a miraculous divine means of bringing solution to long-lasting issues. Praise be to God. And we have to get ourselves to a point as a church that we should not cry the same as the government is crying. Even the insecurity issues that are invading our nation, it is only the voice of prophecy that has to be released in the atmosphere and fix those issues that are affecting our nation. Praise be to God. So, economically, especially for those who are conversant with our economic state at the moment, we need God's intervention. The solution of this nation is not with the president. The president is a vessel that God can use. The solution of this nation lies within the church. So we want to pray for our economy. As just to are seated next to your neighbor, you may not know what that person is going through. People have no food. People have no job. School fees. House rents. So many things. Other people are in depression because of financial issues. So that person needs financial miracle that depression disappears before even a prayer. <laughs> Praise be to God. So for our country economy, I want to lift our hands on an eye and make a prayer that Lord fix our economy. Fix our economy. Fix our economy. In economic fixing, let our money, Kenya shilling, let it regain value. Let it regain value so that when you have a thousand bob, you have money that you can do something. That Lord fix the economy of the nation of Kenya. Let every power of cartels, every power of corruption that is affecting our economy, let that power crash. Let that power crash. Any man, any woman at the gate of our economy sabotage. Let the power of God unseat them. Let the power of God unseat them. The state of having no money that you can have for your family. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. The Bible says there was a woman in Zarephan. At the point of her death, the Bible says God told Elijah, I have prepared someone somewhere that you may become a solution as she becomes solution. That is how the crisis of that woman was sorted. So by the manifestation of prophet Elijah, the woman could survive because of prophetic grace. We are having a prophet with us. You never know why he has come. It may be for you or for myself, even for the nation. But you know what? Even prophecy is prophetic to manifest. Even a prophecy is provoked to manifest. So just open your mouth and go before the Lord. Tell the Lord, let our economy stabilize. Let our economy stabilize. It is not about nation, church economy, family economy, personal economy. All these are areas that we need God. When Elijah got tired of looking at the situation, he stood at the gate that divine intervention can be activated. You open your mouth and declare, let the economic sabotage systems that are draining our economy, powers that are affecting our economy, let those powers be shattered. Let there be permanent solution to our economy situation in the name of Jesus. Every human system that is working as a satanic instrument to ensure that our economy is not going on well. We talk of economic health. You open your mouth and continue declaring. You open your mouth and continue declaring 
that you father the economy of this nation needs you. Sometimes you have to raise your eyes above the president, above the experts of our economy because even the president is crying to God. Let us go to that God that he may have mercy. People are dying because of lack of medicines. Our medical facilities need economic stabilization so that they may be equipped to save lives, to save hopes in the name of Jesus, that Jehovah fix our economy. Churches, some of them have been shut because of rent arrears, because of economic situation. So when you are praying for economy, you are praying for your dream. The Bible says, but money answers all things. No matter who you are, how anointed or gifted, no matter the level of your understanding, you need money to settle some things. And it takes divine intervention. And divine intervention it costs to be. When we pray, you open your mouth and declare, from this day, oh God, settle our economy. In the name of Jesus. Another prayer point. The Bible says, praying for one another that you may be healed. Praying for one another that you may be healed. I want you to hold your neighbor's hand and make an intercession. Lord, whatever my neighbor is in need of, I ask you to supply whatever my neighbor is in need of in his life, in his family, in his business, in his ministry, in his career, whatever my neighbor, everybody be upstanding. It is dangerous. When the people are praying, you are just looking on them. This is a conference. It's not a sports program. It is a conference. And sometimes you may be tampered with by your mind and emotions. I want you to pray for your neighbor, praying for one another so that you may be healed. There are people who are economically sick, psychologically sick, spiritually sick, mentally sick, family-wise sick, maritally sick, career-wise sick, but they need the prayers of one another that we may be healed, that whatever my neighbor is going through, Lord, sort it out. Open your mouth and continue praying that whatever my neighbor is going through, whatever my neighbor is going through, there are things people do not share with others. Kuna vitu watu wakipitia awa sheyangi na mtu yeyote. Lakini unaweza ukaushika. The Bible says one will chase a thousand, but two will chase ten thousand. You just join him in that prayer point. Every prolonged delay, let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Whatever you are neighbor, you have to have a feeling of a child of God. That you are okay does not mean your neighbor is okay. That you are at peace does not mean your neighbor is at peace. You can make a prayer, just one prayer, and save that person. In the name of Jesus, you open your mouth and continue declaring that Jehovah, I pray this hour, heal my neighbor, revive my neighbor, strengthen my neighbor, lift my neighbor, restore my neighbor in the mighty name of Jesus. People are living with the heartings. People are healing, are eating. With every corner of life, there are issues. But it can take one word from your mouth and help that person to come out. When you are praying, pray like you never pray again. When it comes to prayer, don't spare any energy. You may not know what it takes of the next minute. When it comes to pray, pray like you will never. <laughs> Isanto loko bogo to liga damaga, zikete liki peli atosh, lizinte li talaka manalada, zanto loko bogo zi teli atoma, lidele gepo shaliata, lazinta neli kabogo dish, liziato kali kaba Jehovah, lizumpa tali ato yawe, lizanta laga bagada ya, lado to liga dalagaba. As you pray, let grace flow. Let grace flow by the direction of your prayer. Let grace 
grace flow by the direction of your prayer. Let grace flow by the direction of your prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus. That whatever my neighbor is going through, Jehovah intervene. Sometimes be selfless. You can't make effective prayer until you become a selfless person. That you may wish your neighbor to succeed even before you succeed. That is a prayer uh, that is one of the most effective. That my neighbor might be not having a fair. Father, give him his own car. Might not be even having house rent. But you can make a prayer, Lord. Give him his own house. Because our God is a miraculous working God. In the mighty name of Jesus. That Lord intervene in every case touching my neighbor. Their children, pray for them. Their spouses, pray for them. Their businesses, pray for them. The Bible has instructed us. When we pray for one another, we shall be healed. When we pray for one another, we shall be healed. That my father set on every pending situation that is becoming oppressive to the life and the family of my neighbor. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Ah, pigia yesu makovi ambayo inauzito. Pigia yesu makovi ambayo inauzito. Listen. The man of God we are having with us is a prophet. And the prophet wants reactive atmosphere. Praise be to God. Reactive atmosphere. So I want you to be lively. I want you to be lively. We have not said we sit down. We are in prayer, please. We are in prayer. Praise be to God. Actually, we have a big space. If you feel you are just... Uh, limited in space. You can occupy the other seats because we are in a prayer. Job chapter 22 and verse 27 and 28. The Bible says, Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Now verse 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, There is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. Listen. The Bible says, When men, that introduces you to time. When men are cast down, you will say, the prayer we are going to pray, any power that wants me down, let it scatter. Be upstanding, be upstanding. When men are cast down, every season there are people who goes down. In the same season, there are people who goes up. But as for you, you are going to safeguard and secure your season. That this season around, you are not going up to be among the people that are going to go down. That your ministry, that your family, that your business, that your career is not going to go down. Because the Bible says, when men are cast down. Meaning there is a power that cast men down. And the Bible says the answer to that, it is what you say. When men are cast down, you will say, you will say. And how do we say it? You shall make a prayer unto him. You shall make a prayer unto him. Open your mouth that this season of 2023, no power will take me down. This season of 2023, no secret Sickness will take me down. This sickness, this season of 2023, my business will not close. This season of 2023, my ministry will never scatter. This season in 2023, our nation will never break. This season in 2023, the glory of the Lord will manifest over this nation. You open your mouth and go before the Lord. I refuse to go down. I refuse to go down. Because the Bible says, when man are cast down you will say there is lifting up this means sometimes you don't need people to pray for you you need to pray for yourself Lanta laga bogodo, lezi teli talaga magada, la de de lege begezo, la de lega dila magada gada, je talalala la bush. When the gates of death knocked at the gates of David's life, he says, "I will never die." There are powers you confront by confession. There are powers you confront. 
by conversion that 2023 no power will bring me down no demonic power no human power no systematic power will bring me down will bring my business down will bring my destiny down in the name of Jesus No, viti za kwanza simeachiwe executive. Please Ashas help here. Viti line ya kwanza yote iachwe kiwa hivyo. Ashas you need to help servants of God please. As we pray. Ashas pray while watching, not while your eyes are closed. That is what the Bible says. Bishop just be around here please. Si vizuri kuamsha mtumishi wa Mungu akiwa ameshaketi. So we are saying there are powers that brings men down. Praise be to God. And let me tell you one truth that many people do not communicate. This life, we are all designed to fight in one way or the other. That's why Paul says we are fighting against the powers, authorities. And the principalities. Praise be to God. We want to make another prayer point before uh, we get to another uh, session. Jonah chapter 2, verse 2. The Bible says, And I said, let's begin in verse 1. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord, his God, out of the fish's belly. There is no situation that should subject you to a situation that you can't cry unto God. There is nothing that should take you down to a level that you can't pray. The Bible says, then Jonah prayed. Nobody prayed for him. You need to mount up a system. That even when there is nobody to encourage you, you can be like David. David encouraged himself in the Lord. The Bible says he prayed to God, is God, out of fish's belly, verse 2. And he said, I cried by the reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou hardest my voice for thou had cast me now the point here is we are going to pray ourselves out of every strange belly you get what i'm saying when you read that book of jonah very well you understand that he was taken to the gates of sheol alikuwa mepeleko kwa malango ya mauti kuzimu huko huko maandiko nasema kwa sababu let me tell you, in this life, God doesn't sympathize with the people. God does not, if you are not ready to deal with what is dealing with you, God is even okay if it is going to finish you. Because he has given us prescription on how to respond to issues. And Jesus said, I leave with you the keys. So Jesus has got no key. In heaven. Hallelujah. And when you have a key, you don't knock. You just open. When you have the key, you don't knock. Because key gives you right, gives you access, gives you power, authority over, command. Hallelujah. You know, in America, even if it is your house, if neighbor sees you knocking, for more than five minutes, they will call police to arrest you and take you to cell so that you may explain why are you knocking. It is your house. Meaning without the key, you can be even arrested at your own very house. So the prayer point you are going to pray. Anything that has swallowed my destiny that I cannot rise up and shine, I pray myself out. I pray myself out. Hallelujah. One doctor told me, you see, 
We don't sympathize with the people. We empathize with them. That we may help. We don't sympathize with the people. Wala wanaitaji kupasulua, unapasua. You let us survive, unisawa. You let us survive. They don't sympathize with the people. Because when you sympathize with the people, even psychologically in counseling, when you sympathize with the people, you cannot help them. You become a victim of what is victimizing them. But when you empathize with them, you empower them, stabilize their systems, that they can be able to believe they can overcome and conquer it. Hallelujah. I want us to make a prayer. Anything that has swallowed up my glory, I pray myself out. Sometimes you don't need people to help you. You pray yourself out. Open your mouth and go before the Lord. There are people whose glory has been captured. There are people whose potentials have been captured. There are people whose next dimensions have been entered. But the Bible says, by the reason of my affliction, I prayed unto the Lord. And what happens? The Bible says, God commanded that very same fish that had swallowed Jesus to vomit him out. It took prayer for Jonah to be delivered from the fish's belly. So open your mouth and go before the Lord. There are so many things in your life that needs prayer seriousness. There are so many things in your ministry that needs prayer seriousness. There are so many opportunities in this nation that needs prayer seriousness. There are so many levels in life that needs prayer seriousness seriousness that Jehovah any family fish that makes sure nobody rises up in our family I pray my family out I pray my family out anything that in does good things in my father's house in my mother's house I break out of it I break out of it that whatever that makes sure nobody in our family rises up up to conquer, rises up to shine, rises up to increase.